Hey, welcome back guys. This video is for those that want to know how to do a screen recording. Screen recording is really easy. It's happening right now. So you want to do is you take whichever finger you use and you go to the right hand corner and you swipe down. See that? And that menu appears. And you see that screen record button? There's a screen recording happening right now in real time. Okay? And then you simply press that button. I can't press it right now because it's recording. but. Um, if you want to record, you just press it and you want to make sure you have a mic that can transmit. So the transmitter mic goes into the hole in the middle of the um, DJI controller and, and make sure that mic also works with the transmitter. And once you do that, it's presto magic. Now the, the voice recording on the DJI um, Pro receiver comes in better than the regular RC receiver. Why, I don't know, but I can just tell you from my experience that I get better audio. That doesn't have to be um, uh, turned up more in post-production when using the um, Pro controller, which is the black one. If you're using the gray one, you'll have to, in post-production, turn up the volume. Uh, I guess that's just by default uh, an error. Anyway, so we'll go to the next half. How do I see my screen recording, right? So one other option you can do if you don't want to go through the menu, uh, you just go to the gallery app, right? And then you go to, so of course it would be timeline, albums, you see your albums, movies, and everything just simply appears there and you can press it and press play. Um, but some people don't have the app on there, some people can't access it. So for those of you that, where the app works for you, that's fine, just go through the app. And for those of you who, um, who can't go through the app, um, just use the next method. Oh, and, and sometimes you'll see it right there. See where it says recording notifications? So normally you'll see it in notif notifications, but if you're doing more than one screen recording, it's not gonna show up. Uh, you'll have to go through either the gallery, um, if we can just get rid of that. Okay, the gallery or the other way, which I'm about to show you right now. So what you do is you'll scroll down. This is another way to do it. Aside from clicking on that menu that we saw recently, you're going to click on that little hexagon type shape thing next to the home right there. This menu appears and you're going to click on um, storage, right? Which is right there. 66% use. Then you're going to click on the little hamburger menu that's on the left hand side. Click on photos and videos, images. Um, I know you would think, wait, but that means pictures, but no, that's where everything is. And you click on images, right? And then hopefully, I'm not sure why that happened, but up oh, there we go. So you'll see a whole, all these screen recordings that you've done, right? So remember, we'll go back again. Uh, movies, and all your movies are there. Okay, because um, remember this is on the receiver, right? Not the drone. So we're gonna click that one. And remember, always audit your stuff before you leave. For example, I'm here. I don't wanna have to come back and do another screen recording um, because uh, I checked it when I got home. Maybe the audio wasn't well, maybe I was too close to the drone and you know you hear the propellers in the background so you know a lot of that comes into play and make sure you just go back into your car you don't have to be here you know you don't have to be you can hear the music in the background you know you want the full experience of, of, of knowing what the audio is like then you just do that and then we press play and of course you should be able to hear everything loud and clear um, which works really well and we'll just stop it and that's it and that's how you do a screen recording on any of the DJI receivers. Just make sure, remember, to have a, a mic that can transmit from you to the receiver. And I'll leave a link in the description below to different mics that actually help with that. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.